ever since I left the city Hey guys, it's another hey guys, it's another video. Wait, I, why do I never know how to greet you guys? This is ridiculous. I can't do it anymore. I really can't. I'm sorry. So yeah. Hey guys. No, seriously. Hi, yellow. Hi. Hello. Hello, people. Hello. Hello. Hey guys. Hi guys. Hey. I'm back again with another video. And if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Shiana. And I'm glad you clicked on this video. So, um, that was crazy because I can't really wink and I just winked at you guys, so keep that moment forever. That's our moment. Okay. So, yeah, um, today's video is going to just be a hair puff tutorial. Um, I have a lot of requests, actually, on how I make my puffs, so this is just how I do it. Um, you don't have to do yours like this. You can alter any step you want to. I'm just showing you guys how I do it because that was what I was requested to do. So, yeah, um... I have to say and I love you guys so let's get right to the video so what you're gonna do is this is a wash and go that I did last night and so what you're gonna do is we're first gonna start off by searching the perimeter because um, the, the hair gel has dried and my hair is very shrunken so we're going to stretch it out spray bottle and up hard bristle brush I don't want to get your whole hands up in there but the perimeter is enough then we're going to take your bristle brush and just brush back first without anything but the water to get it all stretched. Get your hair all stretched and smooth. You're gonna take whatever gel of choice. I'm using this huge Eco Styler thing. I'm gonna start off by putting some on your hands. Um, you just need a fair amount actually, so. About that much and you're just gonna smooth it over the palm of your hand like so and smooth it on your head in the back all the way around so you can get the basis of the puff. By the way, I'm just doing showing you how I do my puff. I have heard so many different people do theirs. Just watch this one, and if you like the way I do it, you can try it. If you don't, there's so many other videos you can watch that'll probably help you. So just keep adding until you feel like you have it covered enough. So you have your smoothed and flattened enough. Get that shine. Okay. And take your bristle brush again. And this time you can swoop a little, but we'll go back and fix the edges. So this is just, if you want to, just to get some of those waves out. If you don't like the look of the waves, just go with your bristle brush. Now with the gel on it, and continue to brush up. We're stretching out the perimeter and leaving the middle full. So if you have thin hair, just be more delicate around the edges. And if you have thicker hair, you're probably fine. Like me. So now that you have brushed it all, get in this. This is your stocking, your your holy grail. This is what this is everything. So you start I like to start putting mine in the back, putting it around my head and tying it in a knot to begin. And then from there I like to slide it back all the way around. And keep pulling tighter as you go back because as you go back it's gonna expand because your head is getting bigger <laughs> so you have to keep tightening it but also pushing it from the back so as big as you want your puff so I'm looking in the viewfinder I don't have a mirror so this is all I have and I'm just gonna keep pushing back to wherever you feel is best then you're gonna tie, take these two tie another knot in the back and make sure it gets all the way up so everything's smooth and neat 
then you're gonna tie in a knot or a bow your puff in the front now my puff looks really small and drunken and I do not like it like this so I'm going to fix it to fix it here's what we're gonna do you're gonna take a pick or or anything that you like to stretch your hair out with and you're gonna go through and pick out your puff and this is going to keep the tightness of your scarf but fooling that's a good word So now we have our puff and it is slick and to go. Styling your edges is to each his own again. Um, if you don't like styling your edges, you definitely don't have to. If you prefer it, I'm going to show you how I like to do mine on my edges on this side. I'm just going to go ahead and cover the entire side, making sure that I get Whole side cover and whichever but to do rat tail comb and I'm going to swoop down and swoop down and pull and sweep so I like to call it and again come down and sweep This edge brush and it has like a little comb. And so I'm gonna sleek that down, and that's how I like my edges to look. So before it dries, we're just going to put on the satin scarf so we're touching the knot in the back and I'm going to cross it over to the front and I'm out like so frizzy pieces that have gotten messed up in the process of you um, that you want to fix and mine is going to be right here it's really frizzy and shield it so I don't get my hair wet because especially being in the winter right now going outside with your hair wet is not my mouth and curly hair takes forever to dry so see how the gel is reactivating now that you have and you're going to detangle that section to make sure that there's no tangles because you have tangles and definition so now that that's all smoothed out and you know, smooth them out so that when they dry this section will be defined again and so yeah I'll be back when my edges are dry I think it's almost ready. Just gonna carefully, you don't wanna smidge anything last second. Okay. And it, 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 it fell off itself. I mean, okay. But it kind of feels cool, like when it's done, because you could just like blow some air on it. But yes, this is the final part. So, yeah, track. this is the look. So, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, 
leave a video request request okay leave a video request down below and be sure to always read my descriptions because i normally make sure to always open the description box because i normally always have something to explain to you guys and so yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next i'll talk to you guys oh my god what is wrong with me i'll talk to you guys in my next video see you guys next week keep coming stay sassy bye bye